Karen told Aaron that she's pregnant and she showed her this Zax, but he ain't show. What's good, y'all? It's your good sister Erica Vane coming to you again right here on Erica Vane TV, the number one source for sisters content. If you're new, hit that subscribe button because you're going to love this video. Turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss any more of my videos. And let's go ahead and get into this preview. All right, episode six. This is one of the best previews that I feel like we've gotten in a very long time. And it's probably just because we know we just get a, we, we got more information than we typically get within these previews. So the preview clip, and this is, I'm breaking down after the episode. They tend to give us like a 15 to 30 second preview. I will be doing a trailer breakdown as well. So again, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are coming back and you are already a subscriber of the channel, welcome. Make sure y'all jump in this comment section. Let me know how you feeling, what you thinking and your predictions for next week. But the preview picks up right where we're leaving off with episode five with Aaron. And he says, so you think it's Zex? She's like, I know it's Zex. I'm show. Cause y'all know Karen be show. And while I kind of believe that she might be right, I want to go down the road of what if it ain't. Okay. What if it ain't? Cause we about to be on that journey. We about to see she has yet to go to the doctors. We, we have no idea how far along she is when she do any of the details that we're actually going to need for this. So, you know, Aaron is 100% right. It could be my baby. And I guess this also lays to bed those comments that I was getting about Aaron might be sterile and that came out earlier on in the series in season one, or maybe it was season two, can't remember. But people were saying that in the comment section. So now I gotta go back and look for it because I couldn't figure out where that was actually said. But if he thinking that he the baby daddy, then clearly he ain't sterile. He think his swimmers are doing just fine. And he might be excited. Like I can't really tell y'all, but it kind of looked to me like he could be excited about this news. But then he also is dealing with the fact that Karen is like, it's Zach. So then he's kind of like a little, getting a little annoyed with the fact of like, why you think it's Zach's baby when it really could be my baby. But you know what? I'm, I'm totally here for it. Aaron has really stepped up and has been holding Karen down. Like, honestly, like even through the sorting out her feelings with Zach, her deciding to go after Zach and like him giving her space and time to really figure out what she wants. He has been there. He continues to be there. I did a video breaking down how he would actually respond prior to this before I ever even saw any of this. So you can go ahead and check it out because we're not going to see his full response until next week. And you could click the link in the bot in the description box down below or the card above to check out that video after this. But there's there's a range of emotions on his face. However, I think that he's going to stick to his character development that we've seen so far. And he's still going to be there. And it might just become a fight of like, Karen, you out here talking about this is Zach baby, but this is my baby and we finna do this. Period. Okay. Also, the, the preview really starts with Fatima and Andy, but I really kind of just skipped over them and went right to Aaron and Karen. But let me go back and talk about that. So Fatima and Andy are in Andy's office and they're talking and Fatima tells her that Karen calls Zach's phone and Andy's little messy self. What? Did, what? What? What's that? What? Girl, I don't know how Andy's going to respond because I don't know what time Andy is on. I don't know if she's on, you know, not be a good friend time or if she's actually turning over a new leaf and trying to be better. I hope that she can recuse herself from the situation. If she's going to maintain friendships with both Fatima and Karen, I'm going to need her to play a better neutral party because she's not. When she gets with Fatima, she talks about Karen. When she gets with Karen, she downplays Fatima. And I hate it. I really do. She's so inconsistent. It's so ridiculous. And it don't even take all that. As soon as Fatima says, so I talked to Karen, she calls Zach's phone. You know what, girl? I actually don't want to hear about it. Are you okay? Okay. You okay? Zach is okay? All right, cool. Then everything else, I don't want to hear about. That would be my dialogue if I was Andy and I don't know how to play, you know, a neutral party that would be what I would say. Now, if she was able to be more of a neutral party and not talk sh about her friends behind their back, then maybe she could actually hear Fatima out without adding in anything extra on top of it. But honestly, I don't think that Andy is capable of doing that right now. So we're probably gonna see her egg on some mess. Then also in the trailer, y'all, we get to see Preston call Danny because guess what? Karen ain't called. Like Karen already got chewed out because, you know, she called her the first time she came down there. And I, and I know that Preston was talking all this stuff about, oh, I don't want you to call Danny. Don't call Danny. And because Karen didn't call Danny, he wound up calling Danny himself because he's still at the salon with this little girl that he frolicking around with the little cows and whatnot. And Danny gets to tell him, well, I'm about to go on a date because he asked, what are you doing? What are you up to? Boy, what, what do you care? I need Danny and Preston to stop, just like I need Calvin and Sabrina to stop. They're doing too much for me. And it wouldn't be Tyler Perry if he did not put Gary somewhere, somewhere within the vicinity of episode five. Gary is not in episode five at all, but he is in this dang on preview and I'm annoyed. I thought I had got away with it, y'all. I thought I had got one episode in, not having to see Gary's face, but the end of this preview, he actually is calling Andy and saying, you might want to talk to me. And she's sitting outside her apartment. I think this is the setup to her coming in and seeing everything is gone in her apartment. and 
this is the confirmation that I think that Gary is the one who actually purchased the penthouse for her. So all of her stuff has probably been moved up to the penthouse within her building. And when she walks in, she can't find her stuff. So she's going to start to spaz a little bit. But that is the preview that we got at the end of episode five for episode six. Y'all, I feel like episode six is going to be good. It's going to be good, good. If you haven't already, go over to ericavane.com where I have the breakdowns for all of the, the titles for all of the episodes this season. And we will be updating the synopsis and additional information as it comes about. So if you ever want to get additional information, you got a question about something, you can go to ericavane.com and check out all of the information that we have. Have on sisters the series if you made it all the way to the end of this video you ain't subscribed yet then i forgive you but go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now yep mm -hmm. right now i'm waiting like button too perfect 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 one more one more bell notification all right bet now you're not gonna miss any of my videos when i post them i will be coming with a trailer breakdown video as well as a video to talk about aaron and karen in this conversation that they're having i'm really really excited to see what they're going to be talking about next week i will probably be dropping a predictions video as well so i'm not going to stop in reference to keeping the sisters content coming i'm so glad that y'all are enjoying it if you want to check out a video i did about fatima and what flaws she has then go ahead and click this video right here if you want to go back into my episode 5 breakdown and make sure that you didn't miss anything, click this video right here.